As the world looks for cleaner lifestyle alternatives, the electric car market has been growing at a rapid rate. Tesla and their CEO Elon Musk are driving this revolution and many other car manufacturers are already joining the race. Latest forecasts estimate the demand for graphite, used as anode material in lithium-ion batteries, is set to increase by 200% in the next four years, off the back of global cell production and maturing pure electrical vehicle demand. Graphene, which is just one atomic layer of graphite and stronger than diamond, is also set to change the world we live in, boosting graphite demand even higher. Not all graphite is created equal, however. Companies like Tesla require jumbo flake graphite, as it's the best conductor for the job. As a result, demand for naturally sourced battery-grade graphite flakes, which is the main feedstock to produce graphite anodes in lithium-ion batteries, is set to skyrocket, driven by accelerating demand for electric vehicles and large-scale power utility storage. Volt Resources is a low-cost African graphite explorer with a focus on the resources-rich country of Tanzania. The country has one of the most stable democracies in Africa, with a well-established mining and service industry, making it one of the safest places on the continent to undertake exploration and production. Volt made a major discovery in 2015 and recently announced a 214 million ton jumbo flake graphite resource at 5.1%. They are also the largest tenement holder with 2,000 square kilometers in highly prospective Nachinguia region. Stage 1 pre-feasibility confirmed excellent metallurgical flotation results with concentrates up to 99.3% total graphite carbon TGC, in the super jumbo plus 500 micron. Further to these market-leading results, Volt has some of the best flake size distributions in the graphite sector among larger peers and, importantly, doesn't need to use industrial chemicals to remove impurities. Numerous samples tested have now demonstrated that the deposit can consistently provide clean, high-grade TGC graphite suitable for commercial applications mainly within the lithium-ion battery market. Volt's tenements are ideally situated in Tanzania, just 130 kilometers of sealed road from the well-established deep water Matwara port, currently operating at just 34% capacity. It gives Volt one of the best infrastructure positions in the market, meaning a reduction in the company's infrastructure spend and giving it clear advantages over its competitors in the area. The company's board is led by experienced resource professional Stephen Hunt, Alwyn Forster, and Matthew Bull. Mr. Hunt joins from the established neighboring Magnus Resources, whom he joined in similar positions to Vault and left with a market cap of over $300 million. Mr. Vorster is an experienced mining professional with an enviable CV and has been recognized by the industry for his work with some of the biggest players in the sector. Mr. Bull is the principal geologist with 10 years experience and is credited with the Namangel discovery. Vault Resources recently announced a major validation by signing with New York-based investment house EAS Corporate, led by Edward Sugar. Edward's well known for being the first investment group to back Andrew Forrest at Fortescue Metals, creating hundreds of millions of dollars for investors. To keep up to date with Vault news and investor information, or to find out more, visit vaultresources.com.au. Vault Resources, the emerging name in graphite.